Hey. And scene. So did you catch all that? Good, me neither. Can you hear me? Are you okay? That was essentially the prologue. You seem pretty out of it. I don't think that's the official end of the prologue, but you know. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? Hey. <laughs> you just get used to his hair being like that. And we are now gro and we are now Mr. Cranky Pants. As we could expect to be, yeah. So we look pale, huh? Oh, there's a bunch of trap cards. Neither do we. That's why you're a protagonist. Sure looks like a tropical island. Somewhere right. in the South Pacific, maybe? So, let's get ready for tutorials. Just like the first game, you get tutorials as you play. Mouse moves the cursor. If the cursor lights up, we can check things out. And WASD allows you to look around just like the first game. And you will see what is on this island with us. And yet, Tab once again lets you look at hotspots. A side note, hotspots do not hide coins this time. The new overlay graphics are not bad. Yeah, the hots... But yeah, you no longer get coins by examining the world around you. You will get coins by clicking on very specific things, playing one mini-game, and the trials. Yeah, they say this because in the original releases, you didn't have all of these abilities right off the bat. You had to... You had to put the skill on that allowed you to, you know, highlight all the hotspots, for example. And, unlike the first game, when I hit the button to do hotspots, I can move the uh, cursor around while it's active. Nifty. And yeah, that level counter will come into play. It will be explained. Blank screens. Palm trees. More cameras. Something like that. That's not it. Do you read minds?
That is a pretty nice looking sea. There they are, all standing in a row. Introductions, finally. We're only 40 minutes in. I'm Nagito Komaeda. Nice to meet you. The ultimate lucky student. You know, the ultimate lucky student that totally wasn't the protagonist of the entire last game. I'm lucky. Oh, remember, Nagi wasn't actually the ultimate lucky student. Not in the end. That's not it. Yeah, we may or may not learn about his, what the extent of his luck talent actually does. It's oof. You're right. Explode is a word for it. With him, it is a talent. Oof. What happened? He definitely likes the school. This is troubling. <laughs> he does seem kind of average, doesn't he? Hey. Um, I... Don't remember, do you? A bit of crazy is going to come off of every character in this game. At least he's understanding about it. Yeah, we must be the ultimate detective then. That's the only thing that makes sense. Yep. Hmm. 
Well, we'll see. We have an entire game to learn just how crazy the various characters are. Obtained Hope Fragment. And yeah, he he is the only one that stuck around to kind of help us out. Oh good, we have a handbook again. This means nothing good. Are you okay? Obviously we don't remember. If we have a sauna... Oh good, you're back. God, you pop up just like someone else who shall not be named. please. Use your wings, fly away, please. And why are these e-handbooks always important? I shall explain. Hope fragments? Uh-huh. That's right. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Love, 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 huh? Fly off, and it does take on some RPG-ish elements. You notice the level bar in the top now has a little bit of bar filled in. Yeah. For every step we take, for everything we look at, for every conversation we have, it gets bigger. And we level up. That will be more explained in detail later, though. And gone, thankfully. No, no, it doesn't. Funny that. <laughs> Meta humor. Don't you love it? You didn't play the first game, did you? Not sure if knowing anything about them would help me. Yep. Perhaps. Yeah, they probably would. The hope fragments increase skill points. I'll just say that. Like I said, it'll be explained a bit more in detail later. Those are all really valid questions. I 
How about a seashell bra? Oh goody, he's gonna tag along. Alright. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah, okay, that that's fair. Yeah, sure, we'll blame her. What happened? It would be a different nightmare. That is for sure. And more menu things are available to us now. Which is to say we have menu available now. So, handbook. We have a map we can't access yet. We will be able to very soon. We have an unknown thing. We have a present list. Which... Presents are also handled a little differently than the first game. We will get there eventually. We have report cards that display all of the hope fragments we have gained with each individual person. So you notice each person has six different slots for hope fragments. The goal is to fill them all, which you can't do on the first playthrough. Go figure, just like the first game. We have our regulations, no violence, be considerate, no littering, teacher cannot directly interfere, and that's it. So no rules about killing or nighttime or anything like that pinned on us. And a pet, where we can raise our own adorable e-pet. Right now it's an egg. And I can't recall when we get a tutorial about this, if we do, but if you remember, oh, say, Tamagotchi or anything like that, if you were even, you know, doing much at that point in time, basically the only thing you really do with this is clean the toilet every now and then after it goes poop. Yeah. You've just got to keep the toilet cleaned out, or else its despair meter grows, and when its despair meter tops out, it dies. But, yeah, every so many steps, you need to open up the menu and look and make sure that thing hasn't pooped. Because if it's poop and you leave it there, despair meter goes up, etc. So anyway. And, of course, we have the system settings. But for now, we've looked at everything here. And yeah, the map. Actually. And you did the research this time, huh? Well, you are wearing the hoodie. Isn't that hoodie getting warm out here? That that's kinda what I'm wondering. Yeah. Huh? That sounds familiar, doesn't it? The air-conditioned hoodie.
perspective. So no information on him again, huh? Yep, we are definitely the ultimate detective. Let's just hope we are as good as Kyoko was. Yep. And okay, narrator. Okay, much like the first game. That's good to know, just like the first game. So yeah, traveling is a little bit different than it was in the first game. We move and run by, ho you know, move with Wazda, run by holding shift. Q and E keys move you to the next area. And we can go inside places by pressing the button. And now it's going to bring up the pet. Your pet grows how, based on the number of steps you take. So if you use map jump, you don't take steps, and thus your pet does not grow. It also does not need cleaning, but hey, it doesn't grow, and you don't get any benefits from it. Yeah, if you finish raising the pet, you may get a small reward. So, each of the main areas, like what you would have seen as rooms, are locked away behind this little hub here. We have an airport. We have a market. We have the hotel. We have a ranch. And now, that's why I ran all this way around. The little pet alert just sounded. So now we have a little baby bunny thing there. Chibi. -bee. Now we will just have to regularly look in here to make sure we don't need to clean up after it, and all will be well there. But it has about a thousand steps to go until it actually hits the next growth stage. If we don't kill it through neglect. So anyway. We have the central island, and right back to the beach. First, let's go to the central island. Hajime. Yes, it does. <laughs> Can we trip him and run? So, we, we have a central island, which has a very much the same idea here. It's another hub, which leads us to basically other islands. And also a big rock that we can't interact with at all. Yeah, blocked off bridges. So just getting a good look at the area around us here. Basically, we're going to get the same dialogue off of all of those. And then, in the middle of this center island is Jabberwock Park.
Yeah, nothing about this is familiar in the least. Yes, it is a park. This is... Surrounded by the ocean. <laughs> if you say so, Optimism Boy. Yeah, if is a key word. Yeah, I'm not sure of the lore behind what that statue came to be, though. Not personally. And here we go. We have a level assigned to us. Yeah... I vaguely recall that, but I don't remember the details. Yep, walking, examining, and talking will increase your level. Every time you level up, you become stronger. Number of skills we can equip will increase, so try your hardest to level up often. Basically, for every level we get, we gain a new skill point. That's basically what that means. So let's take a look around and increase our level a little bit here. Yes, it is. It is definitely big. Amazing! Uh, DR3, the anime. That's the island symbol? Okay. And yes, that is indeed a Biakia Togami. <laughs> as disdainful of, as ever of anyone else. My name is Biakia Togami. And he is still the ultimate affluent progeny. Back off, huh? Oh, okay. Good, good knowing you, dude. Yeah, it is kind of like a manga organ, organ origin story. Good question! We don't remember. Yeah, don't remember. Amnesia. We went through that in the first game, remember? No, of course not. It's not like we had a choice. Yes. It's free country. What I want. <laughs> hmm. 
And now we have two skill points. Now that we've walked somewhere... Yeah, I need to clean up in here. There we go. For now, that is really the only notable feature. But it is good to remember that park is there, as well as all these other bridges. We're at the beach. So now let's go through the areas one by one. Starting with the airport with apparently functional planes, and maybe we can get the hell out of here. That'd make this a short game, wouldn't it? Could we? Aww, why? Really? engines? Can they float? Can we paddle them away? Nice teeth, too. They are here to bring us extra despair, because they mock us. That's right. No, no, we haven't. Name's Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet you. Well, you're friendly, even with your teeth. If you're drinking him, is he so delicious? You set me up for that. That was close. I mean... That is true. We're not being forced to do anything dangerous yet. Uh. His little name tag looks like it almost says LOL. Yeah, Rabbit just doesn't seem to lend itself to puns with despair, does it? What? 
No. I thought you said you looked at things through a pessimistic lens anyway. That's right. <laughs> no. Bad soda. No. And now meet one of my favorite characters in the game, just for how out there he is. You fiend. You fiend. Five. And this is kind of what I meant about the sound editing not being really, really good. He is really hard to hear because he's so deep and he's not very loud sometimes. <laughs> Would you like to know my name? Listen well. Tanaka. Remember it well, for it is the name that will one day rule this world. And he is the ultimate breeder. Or in Japan, the ultimate animal handler. Let me ask. Whose master are you? Now, did you say he was too calm? Burn in the fires of pandemonium! <laughs> I love this guy. I shall cast you into a watery grave once you do. Yeah, all this speech, he's asking us if we had a pet. And the only thing Hajime has ever had was hermit crab. Impossible. Crabs aren't insects, mostly. Face your powerlessness. Yeah, he would probably be the ultimate Pokemon trainer. This is the Tanaka Empire! <laughs> yeah, he has hamsters.
His hamsters are the four dark divas of destruction. And Jumpy would not like we would not like Jumpy when he is angry. And it's to bring an endangered species back to life, basically. He is easily one of my favorite characters in this game. So let's take a look at the market. Since you asked about whether or not we had commodities, we even have survival goods. Supreme Overlord of Ice! Wow. All that 2D soda. Just like the one in the airport. What? Well, it pays to be skeptical. Else, why else would we... You know, we have survival gear, man. There's a reason. Those are some big freaking jugs of cola, I will say that. Yeah, why would an uninhabited island have a fully stocked supermarket? What happened? I mean, completely uninhabited. A resort would at least have staff. There's no staff here. You want something? Um, sorry. Okay then. Hajime. We we didn't do anything. What he said. Okay. My name is Mika Sumiki. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I hope we can get along. Boy, are you ill suited for this type of environment. Ultimate Nurse. For a nurse, you've got a lot of injuries going on, it looks like. Huh. Uh, just, just take it easy. Calm down. That, that's fine. We, we're cool. We're cool. It, it, no pressure. We're, this is just talking.
Yeah, okay, if she's a nurse, she can fix our injuries. Okay, that's good. This is true. Her hair is kind of cut at some very uneven lengths. But then again, look at, you know, Nagito's hair here. Okay, um, yeah. I'm sorry. Well, we, we can be friends. We can be friends. <laughs> you haven't given us a reason to hate you. Man. I promise. We haven't done anything. Now that we can, let's actually look around the store here. Hey, a new level. We have surfboards. We have massive jugs of cola. 20 liter bottles. Good God. We will look at the Mono Mall in a second. I wanted to talk to her before we do that. Peeking. Peeking. Hello. You are entirely too peppy. The ultimate musician. Yes. Bombastic. Please don't set up us. No. I see. I see. Hamburger, noodles, beans, bratwurst, pasta, and melons, apparently. No problem. Would they? What's with your face? Did you seriously just put, you know, goblin face on? Something similar? Yahoo! 31 flavors of stoke. Okay, Baskin Robbins, let's move along. Psychological? I got nothing. <laughs> Very energetic.
probably would be the lead in, you know, a baby metal group or something like that, I think. But... She only shares a similar talent with Sayaka. There's not a lot of personality match there, I don't think. I mean, yeah, they're both kind of optimistic, but she's a lot more high energy. <laughs> she also has incredibly good hearing. Van Gogh isn't a musician, and neither is Edison. Let's not get started on the rest. <laughs> uh-huh. So now that we've looked at everything else here, let's look at our resident vending machine. We don't have the capsule machine, like we did in the last game. We have a vending machine. We have no coins, because, well, we can't get coins walking around, but when we get coins, we will actually be able to mess with this. That will be later in Act 1, or Chapter 1. Thank you. 